Hey guys, Shelly here with Healthy Homestead Chick. Today we're going to talk about mullein. All right, so these are my mullein plants. These are first year growths. This one I bought at a local nursery. These two my friend and neighbor gave me. And I have collected some leaves off of these, but today I want to go ahead and cut more leaves and I'm going to dehydrate them. I just brought my trays out here with me. Normally I will come outside, I will cut stuff, take it inside, put it on trays. This is a little muddy. Um, but today, just gonna show y'all. Look at those leaves. They fill up. They fill up the whole tray. So I think what I'll do is I'll take these off of that center stalk so they're not quite so big. And I can't do that in video. So hang on a second. There we go. See, I just used my scissors and cut that stalk off. I'm gonna throw this on the ground and let it compost. And I'm just gonna collect these leaves. We're gonna take them inside and dehydrate them. And I'll show you the uses for mullein. This might not give you a really good picture of what I'm doing, but I don't have a tripod, so I've just got you kind of propped up on the swing. So I'm just cutting these stems out. One thing, the, the leaf part will dry a lot quicker than the stem just because of the thickness of the stem. Like I said, all this will go back over there in the herb bed. We'll just use that for compost. And mullein is known for its soft leaves. It's, it's really soft, a um, little bit like lamb's ear, not quite as soft, I don't think, as lamb's ear but it's pretty similar. I'm gonna get this. Um, but there are fine, little bitty fine hairs on the mullein. You can't see them, but you can feel them. So if you're drying them and using this as a tea, or if you're using fresh leaves as a tea, you want to use a really super fine strainer or a coffee filter or something like that to make sure that you get all of the little um, fine hairs out or they can irritate your throat and that is not something you want. Especially when this is used to help treat cough, you don't want anything that's going to make it any worse. All right, so I'm gonna finish doing this no point in you sitting and watching me and uh we'll check back in just a few minutes so here's the final result this is the mullein that's been in the dehydrator and i'm reusing a jar this is the information sheet that i made myself so this is information that i've gathered from different sources this is kind of the headlight headlines of what it's known for. It's good for cough, inflammation, it's antiviral, can be used for wounds and burns. We have the scientific name, which I'm not even going to try to pronounce. And here's all the other information. Those are the things that it can help. Here's the warnings, how you can prepare them. I'm not gonna read this to you. I'm just gonna show it to you and you can read it. Tells you how to make tea, how the leaves can be used for wounds, what the mullein root is used for, the flower, the leaves, how to make tinctures. Hope you guys learned something from this. I am not a doctor. I'm not an herbal specialist. 
This is just um, things that I grow that I'm trying to learn more about and trying to share some of that information with you. So I encourage you to do your own homework. Learn as much as you can about the herbs that you grow and how to use them to the best of your ability. We might as well use what we have, right? So that's it for today and we'll see you next time. And if you watched the last video I did on herbs, um, I did one on holy basil. And if you watched to the end, we had a giveaway. I didn't announce it uh, in the description or anything like that, but there was a giveaway. And um, I didn't really have anyone um, follow the instructions and enter that was on YouTube. But I did share it on my Facebook page and had a couple of people there enter. And so um, we had one person locally that, that won seeds and then I mailed out some seeds to someone else. So if you are interested in herbs and things like that, I will be doing random giveaways, but you'll have to watch the videos and see when they are. All right, see you later, bye.